What do you do if you want to color manage your camera in DaVinci Resolve, but the camera and the format and everything is not in the lists in Resolve? This is a question that I get all the time and it can be so confusing and frustrating, but I'm gonna give you the real deal answers. So I have a couple of clips here. These are from a couple of different drones from DJI. This is from the Mavic 2 shot in D-Log and this is from the Mavic 3 shot in D-Log M. Now, if we wanna do some color management here, I could either do it with a CST just by dragging it onto a node like this and I could change my input color space to DJI D gamut and input gamma to DJI D log and the output color space to maybe DaVinci wide gamma intermediate if I wanna go into there or to keep things simple right now, let's just go into Rec 709. So this is before, this is after. So our color management is working pretty well for this clip. Now, these are both shot on a DJI Mavic of some kind. So you would think that I could go over to this first clip and then middle button mouse click and do that same color management, but look at this. This is like neon green. So something is obviously really wrong with this color management. The reason this isn't working is because this first clip was shot with D-Log M, which is a different format that has different color parameters and all this stuff. So you might think, oh, no problem. I'll just switch this to D-Log M, but they don't got that none. So what the heck do we do? One option is just to use this and then maybe make a node before this and kind of just correct it. So we could take some of the saturation down, maybe take the offset down, and we could probably get a decent result doing this, but it's not very scientific, it's not very exact, and it kind of defeats the purpose of color management. So what we're gonna do instead is use a LUT. Now, depending on what you've heard about LUTs, you may or may not be a fan. Here's the truth. All a LUT does is convert some colors into other colors. It's neither good nor bad, it's just a tool that you have to use right. And one thing that is convenient is a lot of camera manufacturers will actually create color transform LUTs for their cameras, DJI being one of them. And so we actually have a DJI Mavic 3 D-Log M to Rec 709 LUT right here on the DJI website. So this, assuming that the camera company actually did their color science and everything, is a proper color transform from the log that that drone shoots into Rec. 709. Now, are you ready for the terrifying truth? <sighs> Not every camera manufacturer does this. And probably one of the most egregious offenders is GoPro. I have looked high and low for a proper GoPro manufacturer LUT and they just don't have it. They have some really old ones that don't really apply to the newer colors. There's several different third-party people that have made color transforms and DCTLs that uh, I've had mixed luck with. And so you can try those out, those might work, but I haven't had very good luck with them. So hopefully your camera, whoever made your camera, has a proper color transform LUT on their website. So we're gonna download this DJI Mavic 3 D-Log M to Rec. 709 LUT for Windows and download that. To install that LUT, all I have to do is go to LUTs up here and right click on whatever folder I wanna put this in. So how about DJI? And I'll just say open file location. That'll bring this up and we drag that cube file into here and then just right click and say refresh. The LUT is right here, DJI Mavic 3 D-Log M to Rec. 709. Let's reset all grades and nodes for this shot. And let's take this D-Log M to Rec. 709, put that on there. Ooh, much better, look at that. Yeah, baby. So here's before. And here's after, D-Log M is a little bit more subtle with its contrast. And so we have a nice looking shot that's properly color managed here for D-Log M. Now, if we were to use this LUT like this, what's happening here is this is converting this from camera space into Rec. 709. So this is a D-Log M to Rec. 709. What we would be doing is all of our color grading before this LUT, which is a reasonable thing to do. It's pretty high quality. I think you'd have a good time doing that. However, if you want technically the best quality, and especially if you're mixing this shot with shots from other cameras, what we really wanna do is bring this into DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate. So how do we do that? This isn't the most glamorous way to do this, but if you can get a proper transform from camera space into Rec. 709, then you can make a new node and drag a color space transform on there and transform this from Rec. 709 into DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate. All right, so this is basically taking this from D-Log M into DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate. And so the idea here is that this would go before any of our color correction. 
So we could do this here in our nodes and then do our actual color grades here. And then we would have our color space transform from DaVinci Wide Gamma Intermediate to Rec. 709 at the end. So we do exposure, contrast, and so on right here. And you could put these in a group pre-clip. You could put this in a group post-clip. You could keep these all on the clip level, whatever you want to do. But what if you want to color manage with the project settings? Because there are some glorious things about that, especially with the ease of working with Fusion. Let's just reset this real quick. And we'll go down to our project settings, go to color management, DaVinci Wire GB color managed, uncheck automatic color management, and put in HDR DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate and hit save. And then we have to tag our color spaces. So this first one, we can say input color space DJI, DJI Gamut D-Log, and that's gonna look pretty nice, right? But again, if we tag this one, we have the same options here in our color space as we do with the color space transform. And so we only have regular D-Log. And so then we get this nasty neon green grass again. So what do we do? Well, I'm gonna show you how to take this manufacturer LUT and put this into the pipeline of Resolve so that you can color manage even with the project settings, even with a camera that isn't on this input color space list, okay? Here's how it works. Let's get out of color manage mode, go back to DaVinci Wire GB, and I'm gonna grab my LUT again. So my D log to Rec. 709, and we'll make a color space transform, and we'll go from Rec. 709 into DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate, like this. Again, what we're doing is going from D log M into DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate. That's what our LUT is doing. Remember, a LUT just converts one kind of colors into another kind. That's what it's doing. We're going to make a new LUT from this by going down, right-clicking on this first clip and going to Generate LUT and going down to 65 point cube. I'll put this on my desktop and we'll call this D log M to DWG for DaVinci Wide Gamut and hit Save. Then I go to my LUTs folder, right-click, open file location, just like I did when I dropped in this manufacturer LUT, I'm going to copy and paste the LUT that we just made here in Resolve in that same folder, right click and refresh. So here is our new LUT, D log M to DaVinci Wide Gamut. Now, this is where the trickiness happens, all right? Essentially what I could do would be I could reset everything and then just put this LUT on and that's going to do the conversion and everything. And I could do a color space transform again DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate to Rec. 709, right? I could do that in the nodes. But what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna reset all of our colors and go to our color management settings for our project, switch into color managed mode, set my settings, hit save. Again, this input color space is set to D-Log, that's great. And what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna set this to DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate, even though it's not, right click, Input color space, DaVinci Intermediate, DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate. Now, what that's going to do is assume that this footage is in DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate color space. And it's going to bring it in and it's going to do the transforms and all the magic and everything based on that assumption. Now, to start out with, this is even worse. <laughs> We've made it so much worse, but we haven't added that LUT that we made. All we have to do is go over and right click on this thumbnail and go down to LUT, and I'll go to DJI, and we're gonna select that LUT that we just made and look what happens. Oh baby, look at that. Now it's properly color managed. It goes from D log M into DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate before we do anything with it. Then we can color grade in DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate, and then it's converted to Rec. 709. So that's why we can work on both of these shots and apply looks and do our color and everything, and they're going to react in the exact same way. So long story short, if your camera isn't supported by DaVinci Resolve, I hope the camera manufacturer made a LUT. If they have, then you're home free. Download that LUT, you can either use it in Resolve at the end of your chain, or you can use it to convert to Rec. 709 and then Rec. 709 into DaVinci Wide Gamut, make a new LUT and then put it into that color management pipeline. I know this was a little bit more of an advanced one, but if you're asking this kind of question, I'm thinking you care about this stuff. Now, if you watch this whole thing and you're like, well, I, I don't have a LUT for my camera either. I can't find any kind of color space transform. Well, you're probably gonna have to just manually adjust your camera, which isn't the greatest thing ever, but it's not the end of the world either. It's just a little bit more work and you can still get beautiful images. Hey, do everybody a favor, and if you have a camera that's not supported by DaVinci Resolve, drop it in the comments, and if you have any links to those manufacturer LUTs, oh baby, put those there too to help the world. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.